In uh, today's video, we've got a cluster with a bit of a story on it. Uh, this one with the, uh, the end user, the customer, was having the battery drain issue, which is very common on the O3 and O4s. They have uh, trouble going into sleep mode, and if the truck isn't run for a couple of days, the battery would go dead. He was having that problem, so he sent it off to uh, Circuit Board Medics, and they just did one of their normal full rebuilds on it, which uh, is the right thing to do with these GM clusters. And then the customer got it back, and he says, no, it's still drawing power with key off. It still, still has battery drain issues. So then he sent it back to Circuit Board Medics. They checked it out and said, you know what, everything's okay. It's checking out okay. And then they sent it back, and then he claims there's still a problem, so then he sent it to me. So I'm going to be the, uh, the second opinion, uh, hence the clever title name of the video. Uh, so we're going to see, does this cluster really have a battery drain issue, or is there something else in the truck that's maybe on the same circuit that's drawing power? But let's just see how the cluster is. So what I've done is I've already disconnected all power wires except the constant battery 12-volt wire. So when the key is off and out, this is the only wire that sees power. Uh, so this is the only wire where battery drain can come from. So we're going to monitor the current on this wire. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to change over to wide view here so we can see the power supply. I'll click off some of my lights here. All right, so I'm going to turn, the, turn on the cluster. We're going to see, you know, like 0.4 amp draw or something like that for about 24 seconds. If it's working correctly, after about 24 seconds, uh, the power draw will go down to pretty much zero, and the cluster will be in what I call sleep mode, where it's not really drawing uh, any noticeable power at all. So let's just go ahead and do that. Uh, let's see here. I got to connect. Oh, got to plug it in. All right, so it should. Okay, there it goes. I heard the stepper motors uh, zero out, and we're drawing the 0.43 amps. In about 20 more seconds from now, that should go to zero if it's working. And there it is. It went into sleep mode. Uh, so it appears that the cluster is fine. It is not the culprit. It is not the culprit for um, the battery drain. I don't know if you can see that in the video or not, but I'm seeing a scratch on the lens uh, on the display <coughs> film here. I hope that wasn't done by Circuit Board Medics. Um, that'd be a shame if. Uh, a professional outfit is scratching people's faces so I'm just gonna assume that the customer took his cluster apart maybe first to try to fix it himself and scratched it uh, let me hook up the rest of the power wires and I'm just gonna check out the rest of the cluster now everything is wired back up so it should fully turn on and boot up and light up and let's take a look all right so he I do remember him saying that they install LEDs uh, circuit board medics and which they have and I will say that is probably some of the most evenness backlighting I've seen from an outfit that installs LEDs. So they must be using a very wide angle LED. From my angle here, it looks really evenly lit. It's very good. But a lot of times the people have trouble getting the bottom corners of the speedometer to light up. Although I will say the color temperature is not correct. Uh, I don't know if you can see this through the camera and through your screen but that has that blue tint to it. So they're not using a warm enough LED to uh, mimic the incandescent bulb. So that way when it passes through the blue filter, it should be coming through as white, but it's coming through as blue. So it's just off a titch there. Their, their color temperature isn't warm enough. But I'm uh, gonna look at the calib, whoop, I uh, lost power, but I'm look, just looking at the calibration and one of my pet peeves is the gas gauge and they got it right. They actually have the needle set below the dash mark, so that's good. The rest of them are spot on. Even the mile per hour is good. And let me just choose this back up again here. God darn it anyways. I should do something about these alligator clips, huh? 
yeah, looks pretty good. Calibration looks good for them. Um, all right, so for the sake of science, I think we're going to have to avoid that warranty sticker. Take a look on the inside. I'm curious to what LEDs they're using. Oh, but you know what? I noticed when I was taking out of the box, there's a resistor right here. And I've seen this technique used before on LEDs. And instead of using one dropper resistor for each LED, they'll just cut the trace to the uh, backlighting and add just one high wattage LED for all of the LEDs, which um, I don't know if I really agree with that. You know, modifying the cluster when native 12 volt LEDs are available. Pretty much any package size of LEDs you can get uh, native and 12 volts with um, a high enough quantity from the manufacturer. They'll, they'll special make them for you. So then you won't need to modify the circuit board for it to work. Anyways, let's look inside and see what they've done. Yeah. Warranty void sticker is going to need a little bit of help here. Turn on some lights. See, there's the uh, scratch I was talking about earlier. There's some. There's also some wipe wipe marks on the uh, the film display film there, which uh, which is unfortunate. That uh, oh, look at look at those LEDs. Hmm. Oh, they changed out the cruise control. Okay, and the blinkers, that's right. I think I remember the customer saying uh, his blinkers were acting funny after the rebuild. Now those are some interesting, interesting LEDs they're using there. Hmm. It is a uh, diffused lens, but somehow the dome Usually domed LEDs will focus the light into a, a narrow beam, but these do a really good job at spreading the light out. And they're mounted kind of high too. Usually uh, you want to try to get it low as possible so the beam has the best chance to spread before it hits the face. So that's interesting. Let me just power this stuff again. I want to see what they got going on for the blinkers. Oh, they use green LEDs for the blinkers. I don't have the cruise control on, so I don't know what that's going to light up as. Probably blue, maybe. Hmm. Okay, uh, X27, so that's good. Let's take a look at that work on the back of the circuit board. Yeah, 68 ohm. So yeah, they just this, these traces here for the backlighting, they just cut. They just uh, cut the trace, put a resistor in line, so that way they don't need an individual dropper resistor for each LED. Um, and I do see they have reflowed. It almost looks like there's a conformal coating over this too. Oh, they scratched off the, uh, the the growth. I forget the technical term for that possible growth in the back of the circuit board. It's been sanded down. So yeah, they reflowed all the common issues except up here. Sometimes I've seen these fracture. Oh, well, that's sometimes I've seen these fracture too, but uh, not too bad. They reflowed this resistor over here by the power supply. All right. So I guess um, I did tell the customer I'd change these back out to incandescent uh, by his request. I tried to put this back to factory. The blinkers use the blinkers uh, here. So let's uh, let me do that now. Clusters back together, just uh, put incandescent bulbs back in for the blinkers. Uh, hopefully that solves this problem with uh, you saying something about the hazard lights not quite working right or the blinkers not working right after the rebuild. So we'll put it back to factory. Um, so I'm just going to do one more final test here. I've got the, just the orange wire again connected back up to the power supply and we'll do a uh, power on so there's the 0 0.43 amp draw again with a key off you know key out ignition off and after another 20 odd seconds or so it should go to zero now this battery drain problem is very common in 03s and 04 uh, circuit board revision clusters uh, but it looks like this is not one of them 
and there it is yep down to zero so cluster is okay circuit board medix is okay uh it looks like the owner of this cluster has something else draining his battery so that wraps up this video thanks for watching